Hello and welcome to this video. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, share the video to your friends and your family. This is a video that reveals why revival has not been sustained so far. And on 21st of January, 2022, I had this encounter. This is called Pulpit Revival. I was at a Methodist church service and I sat on the third row in the center column. There seemed to be a move of God that began with the dedication of a child. Everyone who held this child, beginning with the osofo or the head pastor, fell down under the power of God. So the entire scene became frantic. Those who broke the pastor's fall, the minister's fall, as he held onto the baby, also tried to handle the baby. And some of them fell to the ground even harder. Then someone who stood by said to me, the move of God among the congregation could not exceed what was happening at the pulpit. One youth from the congregation that went forward to help with holding the child fell headlong, yet he had the baby still pepped up by his arms. Eventually, I saw the baby fall a few times, but was picked up and examined for damage. So here is understanding for the revelation. One, the child or baby represents a new or infant vision that depends on the sincere milk of the word of God. It also represents new birth, that is preaching of the gospel to bring confession and salvation. Two, dedication of the child represents consecration or sanctification. Three, the move of God is revival and awakening to the purposes and plans of God. God's blessing on a meeting is revival. Number four, the move in a church depends on the move of God at the pulpit. Number five, the pulpit represents where the word of God is delivered and who is bringing the word as well as what type of word. Number six, if the pulpit holds on to the child, the power of God follows. Number seven, Jesus said to enter the kingdom, we must be as little children. The attitude of humility at the pulpit to accept the presence of the Lord and support repentance and consecration, which lead to salvation, will bring the power of God in a move across the church. Number eight, the revival of any church depends on the osofu or the lead pastor carrying revival in his or her own personal life. Number nine, the falling or fall of those who try to help to hold the baby reveals the weight of this glory of God that is manifested upon consecration. However, it is not a good thing for a baby to fall to the ground as it can bring damage. The fall also represents failure to sustain the vision, the new vision that is. This baby was however picked up and examined. Number 10, there have been several attempts to sustain revival in the local church and in this particular example in the Methodist church, but it falls flat. Number 11, there is hope though, because the baby was picked up again. This revelation is preparatory and it's a revelation of why revival dies. The pulpit must remain alive and hot for the move of God to continue through the congregation. Psalm 133 verse 1, a song of degrees of David. Behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. 
It is like the precious ointment upon the head that ran down upon the beard, even Aaron's beard, that went down to the skirts of his garments. As the dew of Hermon, and as the dew that descended upon the mountains of Zion, for there the Lord commanded the blessing, even life forevermore. Thank you for watching this video on why revival dies. I pray it has been a blessing to you. Please share the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel for more videos, and stay tuned. Shalom.